Hi everybody, welcome to my homestead and welcome to my channel. Just in the mood to do videos like this today. Maybe I'll start getting more videos like this. Um, I have Jenica holding the phone and, and she's okay with it, right? Yeah, I'm okay with it, but I'm really sorry because I am terrible at holding, doing camera work. So please forgive me if it's wobbly and goes in and out of focus or something just I'm really bad so I'm sure they'll be okay with it okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I just wanted to share an experience that I had uh, that both me and Jenica had just a couple days ago that um, okay the, the moral of the story here is if you are struggling in life right now you're trying to come up with new solutions you want to progress in something whether it's spiritual or or temporal or something like that this is just like a little story that kind of like taught me re-taught me this lesson just recently so as some of you know if you've seen my homesteading videos uh, we've been thinking about getting some more cows right right now we just have two steers one of them is an Angus Holstein cross. So Angus is a beef breed, Holstein. They're, they're like the black and white cows. They're a dairy breed. And then the other one, I believe, is a Jersey Holstein cross, which the, those are two dairy breeds. And so not that good if you're trying to like sell them uh, for meat, you know. Um, you can ha you can eat any cow that you want to, and we may just like with this one that's a Jersey Holstein cross. We may go ahead and just keep him for ourselves for meat and get him butchered. Um, the reason they're not good for me is because they don't they don't grow fast enough. They don't carry a lot of muscle. Um, the meat is still very good, but it just it it doesn't make a profit to sell it. Yeah, well, Jer Jerseys are like small. Jerseys are a yeah. smaller breed. Holsteins, I think, are better as far as, as like, uh, how big they are. Yeah. Right? Right. But anyway, so, um, <coughs> we, I don't know, it, it just, you know, the whole reason why we moved to Kansas is because we wanted a homestead, and part of that is having cows. And, um, at our peak, we had maybe, like, I think we had five, uh, total, five head of cattle. That's, uh kind of like the most that we could probably do on our homestead which is only about two acres um <coughs> and, and even with that we'd probably have to like supplement with hay but all of them were like younger so we didn't need to get hay yet there was still enough pasture for them so we uh you know it's kind of like getting to that time where we want to go ahead and kind of like expand a little bit more and get ready for the next generation of of cows on our homestead and uh, we were looking on Craigslist like we usually do and looking on uh, Facebook. There's like different groups uh, like Kansas homestead groups, Kansas bottle calf groups and stuff like that. We want to start out with a calf, uh, ideally a bottle calf where you feed them, uh, where you bottle feed them. They're more risky uh, because since they're not on their mom, they don't get as much like nutrition and, and they're at higher risk of dying. You have to like do all this stuff to keep them alive essentially. Sometimes it goes just fine, sometimes you have to do more. So we were looking and you know there was some stuff and then nothing that we were too happy about. And then we decided to uh, go to our an auction house uh, in town. And I didn't really know what to expect. Neither of us did. Uh, we, we were just like, you know what, let's just go there and see if they have calves or see like what that process is like. And um, so we had some time. They do it every Tuesday at 11. Uh, so we went there. And it was kind of weird because it's like a, a pretty small building. But like when you go into the back, there's kind of like this arena type seating. It's like small, but like enough for, I, I don't know how to describe it. It could probably fit like... What would you say, honey? Like 75 people if it was full? Um, yeah, if it was full, probably about 75 to 100. Yeah, something like that. So we went in there, yeah, not knowing at all what to do or how it worked, really. Um, I, like, before we went, I pictured that they would give us, like, a, I don't know, like a, 
a paddle or something with like a number <laughs> or something like that. <coughs> but I uh, went in there and they just like started bringing in uh, each group of cattle or whatever. And then uh, I was kind of scared because I didn't know what was going on. Like with, <laughs> when the guy was like talking, because he'd be like, "All right, 174. Okay, you're gonna hear 175, 75, 176." What's that? And I was like, "What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> are you talking about 175 dollars? What? That seems a little bit cheap for a cow." Well, okay. So going went through a bunch of different cows coming through. Come to realize that. Uh, they sold them, they were selling the cows per pound. So it was like 175 per pound and whatever. And then we started not only learning kind of like what- A dollar 75 per pound. Oh, what did I say? 175, just so they're not going Oh yeah, like a dollar 75 per pound. Um, and they had like a little, like a ticker type thing or like a, what looked like a scoreboard, it's an electronic display that showed you how many were being sold and how how much they weighed on average each and then the total weight of all of them together um <clears throat> but it was really good because we got to like learn um well for one thing we never really knew how to tell how how heavy our our cows were um and we still can't exactly but after seeing all these examples of all these different cows and like how much was like 800 pounds how much was 1200 pounds how much was 300 pounds or whatever um it helped calibrate us and uh now i, I roughly know that our our cows are probably about i don't know maybe six to seven hundred pounds or something like that what'd you say yeah i think so 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 now we kind of roughly know how heavy our cows because we don't have like a scale or anything like that and uh, there is a way that you can like measure them with the measuring tape, um, measuring key parts of their body, and then you can kind of uh, calculate approximately how heavy they are. So we learned <clears throat> the different sizes of cows and roughly how much they weigh based on just looking at their size. And then secondly, one thing that was just like a big mystery to us, which is which was how much should we price our cows when we sell them? Because like every time that we've sold a cow on Facebook or Craigslist, we like we like never know. We're just like, you know, we go to lo other listings and it's like, ah, is this a good price? Is that a good price? <clears throat> we talked to a friend in town one time and he's like, well, it's kind of like it goes by pounds. And at the time that meant absolutely nothing to me because I had no idea how much. If you were to tell me that like a cow would sell uh, four dollars a pound I'd be like oh okay sounds right to me <laughs> but at the auction that was not the case I think the most that I saw that the the, the one that sold the most per pound it was like two dollars and 62 cents yeah, or something, something like, like that. that so um okay so and we we bid on one calf <laughs> And we bid on two of them. Oh, I bid two? on two, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, we probably could have gotten one, I think. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, I think so. But, we, again, we were kind of, like, scared. <laughs> um, <laughs> felt so out of place. I felt like a clown. Like, there, I know. Like, there were all these, like rancher guys and just like knew exactly what they were doing and then when we were bidding on one of the calves he's like I'll give you a minute to figure out the calculations so everyone in the arena were waiting for us I was just like honk honk hi everybody we're here to get cows <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh but um anyway so the moral of the story is we came out of that experience have more knowledge about what we were doing and and based on what we learned we were able to look at a few new listings on Craigslist and Facebook and we were looking at one black Angus heifer uh, she was already wait was she weaned? No, she, no weaned. she was a month old or something that's right that's right and so we were able to do the calculations um 
you know how much for her she was like going for a 385 and then we would have bought like um a thing of milk replacer for 80 bucks and then uh you know shots and grain and uh stuff like that and um if we if we had gone with her which we decided not to we're gonna wait maybe another month or two if we had got if we had gone with her and sold her i think it was at like 800 or 900 pounds we would have profited about 800 dollars so okay so the moral of the story if you're stuck right now with something you don't really know what you're doing you know go out there and try something new go to some new source of information you have to kind of like leave your comfort zone because like we could we easily could have like walked into that auction house and been like uh nope we don't belong here and then walked back out <laughs> We didn't look that crazy. We, we I had my cowboy boots on. It just I had my eat beef shirt on. Yeah, we we kind of fit in, but we still kind of stuck out like a sword yeah. thumb. But uh, there's a lot of times you have to go outside of your comfort zone to get the information you need, to get the experience you need. Um, you can't just sit back and expect things to happen, and you have to like go through some, you know uncomfortable situations and um, I feel like on this channel uh, I've been doing a lot of that because to learn about the second coming to learn about the doctrines of the church you have to like really work and you have to search and search and study and study and study but when you do it pays off it pays off so if you're just kind of like not really progressing in something then do the work to do it and don't be afraid um one of my favorite sayings is that you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take and um <clears throat> that's been like a life philosophy philosophy for me for a long time and I feel like it's really benefited me you know um and so yeah so you know that's what we're gonna we're, we're gonna get some cows at some point maybe not this month i'm not sure we have to buy a new car Ugh. um we have like two cars that work but the the other one something happened with was it the head gasket yeah um you should hurry it up it just now said the device is too hot for okay the quality maybe. i'm gonna let you guys go um if you haven't already please make sure to subscribe like this video if you liked it leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below also make sure to share it and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.